So hello fellow Earthlings, this is Earthling 645546372828 and I just saw a video by Joshua Fluke on his girlfriend who we wouldn't have known that he had one as he said who cheated on him with his best friend and like he said this is something that you see in the movies and you don't think that it could ever happen to you. I've never had that happen to me, um, not exactly, uh, I think that my, one of my good friends, he knew that the girl who was going to be my girlfriend was, um, loose, but, you know, n not uptight, so that, you know, we could be intimate without me having her as a girlfriend. And um, it's so funny, when he told me that, I was like, well, I already told her that, you know, let's be boyfriend and girlfriend, so there's nothing I can do about it. Which is so funny, because I feel like I was Joshua Fluke, because I was like, by the rules, kind of thing, like, straight-laced kind of way. So basically what happened is, uh, Joshua's, Joshua's uh, girlfriend got introduced to his philandering best friend and um, she, over the course of a number of months, she became closer to the best friend and um, lied to him and said that she needed some space so she wanted to move out and um, but she would still come over and they would still date and then he t she tells him that she's going on a trip with a friend and um, basically she went to meet the best friend in the military um, town where the friend lived and um, she got found out because her parents started worrying that they couldn't reach her and she didn't even tell her friend um, to establish a proper alibi. So as soon as her parents couldn't talk to her, find her, and they spoke to Joshua, and Joshua told them to get the flight number, which he didn't really have, and he put it in, he realized, whoops, you went to see my friend? Because that's where the flight was going, not to Miami. Then when he tried to reach her, um, well, he also called the best friend to find out, to contact, and the friend was like, I don't know anything about what you're talking about, I'm, I'm still here. And um, the best friend, when he called the best friend, he denied it. When he called the girl, she wasn't picking up. Then they gaslit him, made him think that it was all his fault, and why is he riling up the girl's parents and getting them all excited, and why does he keep calling them? And... Um, his friend was still married at the time, and um, well, his friend had a history of, you know, getting with girls and then dumping them. And even when he was married, he had different girlfriends. And at this point, I'd like to pause and say that um, people tell you who they are. And his best friend was somebody who was not reliable, um, and he could see that. And he just thought that his friend wouldn't do that to him. He thought his friend would do that to girls and not to him. And what we don't realize, and I'm not saying that from the point of view of, hey, Joshua, you should have known better. Everybody knows that. I'm saying that from the point of view where I've had a friend of mine, somebody who I called a friend, who told me what they were doing to other people or had done, and I didn't think that they would do it to me. As in, take money to do stuff and then never do the stuff and never give the money back. And I just, you know, oh, okay. <laughs> and then when they did it to me for a su surprisingly small amount of money, I realized that <clears throat> in life, it's never about who. It's about how they act. It's about the, the person's personality determines what they'll do, not necessarily who you are. And, yeah, I mean, for me, um, you know, f 
for my sister and my mother, I do make exceptions for certain things that with other people, I would just drop them. Um, and I guess it can be about who this particular person is. Um, but it's, it, you know, I've been so mad that I've been fully prepared to do the same thing that I would do with anybody else with them. And then I just changed my mind after because I just swallowed whatever it was and was like, okay, well, I'm not going to do that. But at the time when I was upset, I was fully prepared to do that. So, um, yeah, you, you look at how somebody acts. And you know, just look at their behavior. And if it's not good for other people, they're going to do that to you. And you have to know whether or not you're going to be okay with it. Anyway, um, after trying to get information from his girlfriend who had just gone on a trip, and the next thing he knew, she was with his friend. I mean, I've been there too, you know, where you know how something is but you still ask anyway like if you don't know um i think i have i can't remember you know if it was exactly in the same manner as joshua experienced but um but yeah it happens anyway so um joshua basically both of them cut him off for a while um, they didn't speak to him after making him feel that he was, you know, prying in the girl's life. And the girl is like, well, in my mind, we were broken up. And he's like, but you never told me. And, you know, after a while, um, the friend got a new girlfriend and he dumped Joshua's um, girlfriend. Well, dumped is a harsh word because they made him think as if he they were just um, relying on each other, like leaning on each other as friends, and there was no relationship or anything like that. So um, they made it seem as if she just came out to support him during his divorce because he was getting a divorce. So he, you know, he, I guess he internalized it. He heard so many denials from them that he just kind of accepted what they were saying. And he said after a while, after they cut him off and they didn't want to talk to him for quite a while, um, like I said, um, his friend got a new girlfriend and his ex-girlfriend wanted to come back. And seeing as he said, listen, I need to know everything in order to even think about getting you, getting back with you. So he asked and, you know, obviously when somebody says like, you know, prior to that, he'd been asking stuff like, um, so did you all, were you all really intimate? And she's like, why do you want to know? Anytime somebody says that, it means it's your worst, the, everything that you imagined. Anyway, she completely fessed up. Um, he, she cried a little bit. That made him feel a little bit better because obviously that's one of the things that we want. We want the other person to hurt as much as they made us hurt. So it was satisfying to him to see her slightly in, you know, in, not in comfort, in discomfort. Um, we're just, well, obviously he didn't take her, well, not obviously, but he didn't take her back. And then, and then he spoke to his friend who was reaching out to him again as if nothing happened and denying everything. And once he'd gotten confirmation about all the details um, from his ex-girlfriend, um, he told the friend, hey, she told me everything, and the friend kept denying it, and he said, listen, if you want to be stuck on, on that, then we don't need to be friends anymore. And he's like, yeah, that's the last time. And he's like, you know, I'll never forgive him, and I'll never forget, and I'll never talk to him again. And I think that maybe that's exactly what I would do. But even though I'm saying that, I think that it's better to know, to have people that you know where you stand with them. 
than it is to necessarily have uh, to find out new people and go through a whole process again and be hardened and all of this other stuff. Um, I can, the thing about it is that he's like, I'll never forgive him. You know, I once saw uh, a show that really rang true with me. I can't say I learned anything from it, but it, it opened my eyes to certain things. Um, in it, there was a, a guy whose father was neglectful of him and, you know, came back and was a better person as an adult and wanted to reconnect with him and he didn't want any part of the guy. His his daughter, the guy's granddaughter, you know, was interested in in being or having some relationship with his grandfather her grandfather. But um the guy was like, you know, just hitting back. You were never there, you were never there. I don't know why you came back, why do you want to do anything with me? Uh to have any relationship with me. And, you know, I could relate. I could relate because that was what my father was like. And then the father said something that just flipped the whole script, changed everything. And he said, is there anything that you've ever done in your life that you wish you hadn't done, but there was nothing that you could do to change anything about it? And the guy stopped and I stopped and he was like, the guy was like, yeah. It's like, well, that's, that's me. And from that point on, he stopped being mean to his father. And from that point on, I stopped, I, I stopped feeling mad at his father. I mean, I, I didn't see the stuff that his father had done to him. They didn't go into that. Right, it was Little Miss Sunshine. And, um... Anyway, the, the father was old. I don't know if you've seen Little Miss Sunshine or not, but I'm going to ruin it for you. The father was old, and he wanted to try all these drugs that he'd never tried when he was younger. And um, apparently, he overdosed while they were on a trip, on a road trip, and he died. But um, obviously, he got to meet his granddaughter, and um, he reconnected with his son and he had um, some resolution and his son had some resolution and I was like wow yeah that's amazing the thing about it though is that um, his father was really regretful and was really making up for it my father he was regretful but he couldn't make up for it he couldn't be different and there are a lot of things in my life that I, re I used to be like, oh my God, why, why is my dad like this? And then I realized, whoops, it's not your dad. It's everybody. So then, you know, I, I kind of understood and I understand how life is, you know. You, you can't put people up on a pedestal and expect them to be a certain way. My father had a, a different life from what I had and it made him who he was. And my life made me who I am, and there's not much you can do about it. But anyway, guys, wish me luck. You can like or unlike. You can comment and say how horribly you didn't like it. You know, just to give that extra thing about do a little bit more than the like button or unlike button can do. Subscribe or share. Thanks. Peace.